saw the same scenery last summer, driving to Las Vegas. Oh, sure. But Daddy lost all that money at the craft Hank. table. <laughs> hey, look, a camel. Uh-huh. Of course, this isn't really Africa, honey. It's the French Morocco. Well, it's northern Africa. Still seems like Las Vegas. We're just 100 miles north of the Sahara Desert. You realize that, son? I don't know. In school, they call us the dark continent. This is twice as bright as Indianapolis. Ah, you just wait till we get to Marrakesh. Marrakesh? Sounds like a drink. Mm, it sure does. I sure want to thank you. Without your help, anything might have happened here. Oh, a pleasure, monsieur. There are moments in life when we all need a little help. Yeah. Just, just what was the trouble? Uh, your little boy accidentally pulled off his wife's veil, you oh. know? Hey. Oh, I want to introduce my wife, Miss McKenna. How do you do? How do you do, madame? My name is Louis Bernard. Well, we thank you very much, Mr. Bernard. It's our son, Hank. Hello, Hank. Hello. You talk air talk. A few words. Why was he so angry? It was just an accident. But uh, the Muslim religion allows for few accidents. Yeah, I oh. suppose so. Uh, may I be permitted oh, yeah, to sit down? Oh, yeah, sit down, right in front of Joe there. Oh, I thought his name was Hank. Uh, oh, no, it's my wife's name. You see, J-O, no E. How different. Uh, short for Josephine. I've called her that for so long, nobody knows her by any other name, do they? No. I do, Mummy. Oh, yeah, forgot about now, that. Now, about the accident. You see, a Muslim woman never takes off her veil in public under any circumstances. You mean they feed her intravenously? Oh, hey. What a big <laughs> world for such a small boy. <laughs> you see, I'm a doctor. Oh, well, he sounds like one. <laughs> oh, yeah, he can spell hemoglobin. Of course, he has a little trouble with words like dog and cat. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you practice, doctor? Indianapolis, Indiana. Good Samaritan hospital out there. What brings you to Marrakesh? Well, you see, we were attending a medical convention in Paris, and I thought as much as we were in Europe, I'd come down and see Morocco again. Daddy liberated Africa. Well, I was stationed up in Casablanca, an Army Field Hospital, during the war. Do you live in Morocco, Mr. Bernard? No. I suppose you came directly from Paris. Well, we looked in on Lisbon and Rome. And Casablanca. And Casablanca. I hope you will have time to truly enjoy Marrakesh. Well, let's see. We have at the most about three days. You will naturally be stopping at the Hotel Slavonia or La Menera. What do you ask? Because they are hotels for tourists of good taste. Oh. Do you live in France, Mr. Bernard? Sometimes. Do you eat snails? <laughs> when I'm lucky enough to get them. Well, if you ever get hungry, our garden back home is full of snails. Thank you for the invitation. <laughs> That's all right. We tried everything to get rid of them. We never thought of a Frenchman. <laughs>
Joe. Say, uh, you want to share a taxi with us down at the hotel? Oh, that's kind of you, Doctor, but unfortunately, I have some business first. Oh, I say. What business are you in, Mr. Bell? However, I'll be there later, and perhaps we might have a drink together. Well, no, come up to our suite. We'll have a drink up there. In that case, I will take you to dinner. No, no, that's not fair. But I know Marrakesh. I can show you an intriguing Arab restaurant where the food is different and the manner of eating exotic. Well, that's what we came here for. Yeah. How about it, Joe? How about one of those Arabian nights? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> How would you prefer to travel to the hotel? By taxi, fiacre? Gee, I don't know. A wagon. I want to ride in a wagon. No? Well, I guess it's a wagon. <laughs> See you later, huh? Au revoir. I look forward to the cocktails. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Hank, you sit up with the driver. How do you like this? A horse strong convertible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just saw Louis Bernard talking to that Arab. What Arab? The one that was shouting at Hank for pulling the veil off. And they were talking like they were very dear friends. Well, he probably knew him before. What does that mean? It means that Mr. Bernard is a very mysterious man. What? <laughs> well, you seem perfectly normal to me. Now, what do you really know about him? What do I know about him? I know his name. He's sitting there. Mm -hmm. We're talking. You don't know anything about this man. And he knows everything there is to know about you. Oh, wait. He knows that, that you live in Indianapolis, Indiana. He knows that you're a doctor at the Good Samaritan Hospital. And he knows that you attended a medical convention in Paris. And that you stopped off in Rome and Lisbon and Casablanca for just a few days. Uh -huh. And he knows that you uh, served in North Africa in an army field hospital. Honey, it was just a casual conversation, that's all. Darling, you weren't just talking casually. What he was mean? asking all kinds of questions and you were answering. Well, you might as well have handed him your passport. Well, what, what's the difference? We just have a conversation. I've got nothing to hide. I have a feeling that Mr. Bernard has. I know this is mysterious Morocco, but we're not going to lose our head, are we? Oh, I know. I know what it is. What? Why, you're sore because this fella didn't ask you any questions. Huh? Oh, hardy heart. Hardy heart. This is the pain. What pain, Mummy? It's just expression, honey. Hey, can you take care of the driver? Yes, sir. My name's McKenna, Dr. McKenna. I'll take care of everything, sir. Est-ce que vous êtes libre? Je vous prends. Come on. We're being watched. What? Oh, come on. 